everyone, welcome back. This is Alan from BMW Durham, and we're back again with another video. Today we're looking at our first look at the 2022 BMW M3 competition in Isle of Man Green Metallic with MX Drive and Kalami Orange Black M Carbon Bucket Seats. Okay, so this is the 2022 BMW M3 competition with MX Drive and Isle of Man Green Metallic. Now this particular one does have the BMW Laser individual shadow he headlights. That looks really good of course. And this one does have the exterior carbon fiber package. So you've got these style of vents instead of the honeycomb grill that's usually there. You've got the infamous double kidney grill, the vertical double kidney grill with horizontal slats. You've got these nice power, power bumps. <laughs> and down here, the other side of the vent. I really, really like the look with the exterior carbon fiber package. Now I'm just gonna take a walk around here. The car looks pretty well exactly like the 2021. There's, uh, there's no expected changes. I uh, just wanted to take a look though. Now the Isle of, Grant, uh, Isle of Man Green Metallic with the clammy orange interior. Uh, if you guys recall, my first real big video on YouTube about a year ago uh, was basically this car, but it was the pre-production model. Now this is the actual 2022 version with MX Drive. Uh, so I just wanted to come back and revisit this car in the sense that uh, this is the real production version uh, in the color that, uh, that the original M3 uh, was launched in and with the carbon buckets. So I'll give you guys a closer look at all this stuff. Now this is one of the only differences uh, versus the launch model. So this one has the uh, 825M style wheels. The other one had the 826M style wheels in black. This is an Orbit Gray. Still looks great. This one has the blue M Sport calipers. Uh, the the pre-production launch model had the gold calipers with the M Carbon ceramics. So that is another little difference here in this wheel and brake setup. With the M Carbon exterior package, get the carbon fiber exterior mirrors. They look really, really good. I love them. So uh, they opted to go with the sunroof. Now. I personally like the cur uh, carbon fiber roof way better, but uh, anybody who has a sunroof is kind of like saying, well, I'm the boss, I'm an M3 owner, I can get the sunroof if I want. And that's kind of the sense that I get. Now back here you also have the carbon fiber rear spoiler on the trunk lid. That also looks really good. M3 air breather so through M performance you can get the carbon fiber air breather on the side there now down here at the bottom you've got the carbon fiber rear diffuser as well pretty well anything in carbon fiber looks really good So let's just take a look in the trunk. So it's just pretty well like all the other M cars. You've got the fold down uh, release lever so you can fold the seats down in a 60-40 split. Same type of space as uh, we've come to know. Okay, so there's more of that Kalami Orange. And here are the rear, rear seats, the nice M seat belts. From the factory, the uh, seatbelts always uh, come all done up like like this. And we've got some more gratuitous carbon fiber back of the M carbon bucket seat shot because I love showing this.
Okay, so this one's got the full merino leather and that's why we've got uh, all the Kalami orange down here on the lower part of the dash. This one does have the Harman Kardon, so that's awesome. Got the nice M3 competition door sill down there as well. And I just wanted to show you, now this one's got the gloss black interior. And aside from uh, being able to see it in the vehicle's computer, like I said in my other last video, you cannot tell that this is the extra version unless it launches beside you and then they're gone. <laughs> now entering from the driver's side, these controls are all very familiar. You've got the memory seats, the windows, the side mirrors. Got the trunk release down here. Again, M3 competition door sill. This one's got uh, no lumbar support as M carbon bucket seats should not have them. Nice little shot of the seat. And you've got the light up M3 uh, logo on the seat as well, which is amazing. Okay, so we're sitting in the car now. Here's the steering wheel, M1, M2 config, nice stitching, M badge on the bottom. Now I'm just gonna press the M mode button so we can get into the uh, sport view. And uh, also that changes the heads up display so that we get the tack running across it. Sorry, it's blinking. It's just the frequency of my camera. Now, if we hit the setup button, down here you'll be able to switch things right away the moment they light up they're active so they're instantaneous now here in order to go to full rear wheel drive uh, you do have to turn the traction all the way off so if I press and hold the traction button turns it off and I like how it gives you the option for M X drive setup and M drift analyzer which in the previous vehicle it would only give you the M X drive or sorry, the M drift analyzer option in the in the non X drive version. So, whoops. All right. So if we go to M X drive setup, now you have the ability to go to four wheel drive sport or two wheel drive, and then you can adjust your M traction control for your drift analyzer. So that is really cool. Now down here, unfortunately, no wireless charger. There's been a lack of uh, supply due to COVID-19. And we've got, of course, the nice center console here with the M3 competition badging here, the M shifter, everything looks really good here. Okay, so let's take a look under the hood and see that S58. So this is the S58 three liter inline six twin turbo. 503 horsepower, 479 foot-pounds of torque. This thing is an absolute beast. Okay, so that was pretty well a tour of the 2022 BMW M3 with MX Drive. I just wanted to show you this one because we've got another one in Isle of Man, green metallic and clammy orange. Uh, it is pretty rare to actually see them in this combination even though it was kind of like the, uh, the press launch color for the M3. Um, but you know what? Why don't we do one more exhaust test on this car? I know we've heard tons of M3 exhausts, uh, but I want to do it anyways. And that'll pretty well conclude the video. So uh, please make sure you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate everyone watching my videos. It means a lot to me. But uh, let's hear some exhaust sounds, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.